difference allows to calculate the solvation entropy. The entropies of salt hydration are negative. With the introduction of ions, the water structure becomes more ordered due to the orienting action of ions on the nearest water dipoles. It is impossible to separate the entropies of solvation of individual ions by experiment, and model assumptions are used to do this. In the framework of the Born model, the solvation entropy of an individual ion will be equal to Since the dielectric constant of water decreases with increasing temperature, this formula leads to negative entropy values. However, the values calculated on the basis of the Bohr model are several times smaller than the experimental ones. The data on the solvation entropy, on the decrease in the dielectric constant and solvent volume in the presence of ions, as well as the mobility of ions in an electric field, indicate that some of the solvent molecules are rather strongly bound to ions. The average number of solvent molecules firmly bound to one ion is called the numbers of solvation or the number of hydration in the case of aqueous solutions. Different methods for determining solvation numbers often give inconsistent results and may be less than the coordination number. Why is this happening? Let's consider the dynamic solvation model proposed by Samoilu. All particles of the solution are in continuous chaotic motion. Let's suppose that T1 is an average time during which the ion is stationary and T2 the time required for the solvent dipole located near the ion to break the bond with other dipoles, change its orientation and become part of the solvation shell of the ion. If T1 is greater than T2, then the solvent molecules have time to break the hydrogen or dipole-dipole bonds with other solvent molecules and enter the solvation shell of the ion. Under these conditions, a solid solvation shell surrounds the ion and this will be characteristic of small ions, for example lithium, since the electric field is stronger the smaller its radius. If the solvent dipoles in the solvation shell change very quickly and the experimental value, this result is obtained for ions of larger radius and small charge, for example for iodine and cesium ions. In the case when T1 is equal to T2, the solvation numbers take values from 0 to the coordination number. Moreover, different methods for varying degrees reflect the process of replacing dipoles in the solvation shell of the ion, and this leads to a significant discrepancy between the results for solvation numbers.